Hi, I'm Ginger T. Rex and welcome to Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants. Today we're in Las Cruces at Builder Source Appliance Gallery and we're going to be cooking in this beautiful GE monogram kitchen behind me. I'll be cooking with Jared Jankowski from the club restaurant at Turtleback Mountain Resort at Elephant Butte. Last time he was on the show he made these delicious green chili wontons that were out of this world. And I can't wait to see what he's going to make for us today. But first, let's go check out the restaurant. One dining experience you must put on your list is the club restaurant at Turtleback Mountain Resort. Dine elegantly indoors or enjoy your meal on the expansive deck overlooking the fairways of Sierra Del Rio Golf Course, Mims Lake, and Turtleback Mountain. Located just five minutes from I-25 in Elephant Butte, the club restaurant at Turtleback Mountain Resort is open seven days a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You'll find plenty of tempting menu choices, and on the weekends, enjoy the ever-popular Friday night fish fry, Saturday night prime rib, and fabulous Sunday brunch. And if you come to golf or just eat and relax, you'll also want to check out the great food and drinks in the Brassy Bar. So come on out for golf, the lake, the scenery, and the food at Turtleback Mountain Resort in Elephant Butte. Well, we're down in Elephant Butte. This is the club at Turtleback Mountain Resort, one of the nicest places that you can ever imagine coming to spend a day golfing or a weekend or just coming down for a great dinner. And Jeff, the restaurant's really fantastic. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, well, we've been here for about three years, um, steadily gaining popularity. Um, our locals are returning all the time. Um, we also get a, quite a bit of traffic from the lake. Um, weekend weather sometimes isn't perfect, so uh, we're a short drive from the lake, whether it's uh, windy or rainy. Uh, every weekend we see more and more boats in the parking lot, whether it's uh, people on their way home and they don't want to prepare a meal, but they love to frequent us. Well, this is the best place that you can come in all of Elephant Butte or Truth or Consequences, and I can attest to that, having been here many times myself. And we don't pray for wind and rain down here. We pray for good weather so those of us that golf Amen. can play golf or have a great time on the lake. Um, but you do some great specials down here too, don't you? This happens to be Friday night. And what's Friday night? Friday night's our fish fry. We have uh, a new freshwater fish called swai. Um, we marinated in milk. Uh, we hand bred it ourselves. It's all you can eat. Served with uh, coleslaw, french fries, and hush puppies. And it's been very, very popular. We also do uh, clam chowder every Friday evening. You were telling me earlier about a story being on the East Coast where they really have fresh fish. And tell our, our viewers about the swai story there. We were in uh, Pensacola, Gulf Coast, all the fresh seafood you could get right there. And one of their most popular selling fish happened to be swai. And here it is, here right it here is. on Friday nights. That's right. Saturday nights is special here too, isn't it? We do a prime rib on Saturday nights. It's uh, hand rubbed, it's a select cut, uh, sterling select, and uh, it's a very popular, uh, very healthy cut, and um, it's gaining more and more popularity every weekend. Jeff, one of the most fun places to spend some time when you're down here is in the bar. I don't think I've ever been down here and the bar just hasn't been rocking. Rocking and rolling. It's the and boaters. And it's the brassy bar and grill. We have uh, food and live music every weekend. We, uh, we're in the, in the winter months, we're in the bar because of the temperature, but uh, we move out onto the deck and enjoy the, uh, the views on the deck. The, uh, the bar's uh, got lots of nice big screen TVs for all the sporting events, and uh, it's a fun place to hang out. Well, I've been digging into the nachos. I have a green chili cheeseburger here. Wonderful. You have an Asian salad. I know we're going to spend a little time munching away and nibbling yes. on these. And when we come back, we're going to spend a little time, too, with Guy Wimberly and talk about the Sierra Del Rio golf course down here, which is absolutely fantastic. So we'll be right back. Hello, my name is Dan Salas and I'm with Builder Source Appliance Gallery in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And we're in the GE Monogram Kitchen with a lot of innovative products like built-in microwaves or designer series wall ovens, pro series speed cook ovens over wall oven, warming drawer, counter depth refrigerator, all in the pro look, uh, range tops which will come in 36 and 48, 
uh, different configurations, custom hoods with heat lamps. Here is a built-in refrigerator with the designer series unlike the pro series that we saw earlier. Uh, refrigerators in 36, 42, and 48. Great lineup of ranges in 30, 36, and 48. Dual fuel and gas. Each one of the ranges has a special feature as far as the burner going from a low simmer to a high BTU output 17,000 wok burner. Each one of the burners can do that. You can get all the products here at Builder Source at any one of our locations in Albuquerque, Santa Fe, here in Las Cruces, and now in El Paso. Thank you for watching the show. Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is brought to you in part by GE Monogram, giving you the freedom to make a statement that's uniquely yours. Welcome to Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants. We're coming to you from Las Cruces at Builder Source Appliance Gallery. And my guest today, Jared Jankowski, he's back from the club restaurant at Turtleback Mountain Resort. Last time you made yummy green chili wontons for us. We did, it was very fun. It was fun. Yeah, very, very good. It was very good, yeah, if you don't say so yourself. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Today, yeah. I agree with you though. Thank and you. today you've got another uh, green chili based dish that you're gonna make for us. What is, yes, what's on the menu today? It's gonna be a New Mexico flare breakfast. We'd like to call it the Del Rio skillet. Mm, Del Rio skillet, yeah. aptly named because Del Rio. That's right, is... Turtle back. Yes, we, yeah, we do go by the Sierra Del Rio golf course. See, at the, okay, at the resort. Yes. All right, and you've got, tell me about the ingredients that you have here. Okay, we've got some, uh, some ham. Mm -hmm. We've got some uh, green chili sauce, which we make in the restaurant. Uh, we've got some fried potatoes, some onion, some cheese, some garlic, some green chili, some essence, a little bit of butter to keep everything from sticking to the pans, yeah. and some tortillas. That is a grocery list to make your mouth water. And this recipe, as all our recipes, can be found on southwesthotchefs.com. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so the green chili, you make that in-house? We do, yeah. It's just um, it's a very, very basic recipe. It's just um, chopped green chili. We make a roux, throw some essence in there, some garlic, and uh, yeah, just thicken it up real good. And Good to go. You keep talking about essence. Yes, ma'am. We have essence right here. Essence right here. And this is your special blend of spices That's that you right. use on many dishes in the restaurant, right? Yes, ma'am, we do. I tried to make my own version. It was very good. A little spicy, but very good. Yeah. Well, you know what they say, if you can't take the heat, That's right. get out turn the kitchen, it down a little yeah. bit. <laughs> or get out of the kitchen. There you go. Get out of the kitchen. Is that music? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so um, put me to work. What do okay. I do? So let's uh, go ahead and get you this onion here. We're going to um, dice that up for me. I always get chopping vegetables. Well, if you'd like to chop some ham. No, no, it's good. Okay. It's kind of underrated, though. I mean, you can take my knife, too? The person, is this your knife? That's right. Okay, am I over here? Right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'll walk it over for you. Without someone to uh, chop vegetables, there, there you go. these dishes are just meat. That's right. We're, we've talked about uh, having you as a stir chef before, and I can make you a chop chef, too. All right. I'm going to dice up some ham right here so we can get that started. You know okay. what? Before I do that, let me jump over here turn this on. We'll get this hot GE right. monogram kitchen cooking. We're going to put some butter in that pan so we don't stick on these onions and ham green chili. Okay. Can I get butter too or do I need oh, it? Oh yes, the... you do need oh, butter too. Now this one's for the egg, right? Yeah, that's for the egg. We're going to we need to but we do need butter in there as well, excuse me. All right. Am okay. I doing am I doing this right? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just dice Smaller? it up. Smaller? No, that's fine. You can actually leave them whole like that if you like too. Yeah, it, it makes do. it that much better. Just dice this up real quick here. Now this is a breakfast item. But when I was in the restaurant for dinner the other night, we had a yummy appetizer that's not on the menu. Uh, I know which one you're talking about. The buffalo chips. Yes, ma'am. Oh, they're so good. I'm glad you like them. Yeah, we don't have them on the menu currently, but they make a, a very, very good bar food. They go great with beer. Um, nice and cheesy. We've got chips, a little bit of buffalo sauce, some uh, blue cheese crumbles on there. Mm -hmm. Very good eating. So it's not on the menu, but if someone comes in and asks for it, will you make it for them? I don't know. There's a password. No, no, we'll make it for anybody. I'm just kidding. Secret yeah, absolutely. Password. Yeah. What's the password? No shit. Jared chips. rules. <laughs> there we go. So, we got our we got our ham. How's our onions doing over there? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, uh, they look good. That's good enough. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. That'll work. You're just so, being nice. Oh no, they look good. Okay, so before we put these in, let's uh, take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll put this skillet dish together. Sounds good. And we'll eat it. Let's eat it. That's the plan. Very good. That's a good plan. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm with Guy Wimberly, who's just been nominated and will soon be inducted into the PGA Hall of Fame. It's an honor to be here with you. And Thank you. You're the director of golf down here yes, in Richard. Sierra Del Rio. And in addition to a great golf course, this is a great place to come afterwards, isn't it? This is a TGIF, I am <laughs> guarantee you, 100%. And these ladies teed off early this morning. They've spent the day on the golf course, and they're now enjoying their 
scores, shall we say. Three o'clock Friday afternoon. One the place is packed. I have a chili infused Bloody Mary and you have a bunker? No, it's a water hazard. Water hazard. Water hazard. <laughs> <laughs> well, last year when we were out here, you were kind enough to show us the golf course. Let's go take a look at it again. Let's do. Well, Richard, here's our signature hole. This is um, one of the prettier holes, I think, in the state of New Mexico, and certainly one of the, if not the prettiest hole, at Sierra del Rio. This hole has 16 grounds on it. Wow. Some holes have five, others six, and so forth. But this is one of the holes that does indeed have the six. If we went way to the top of the hill, back behind us there, that's the Black Tees. And it's a magnificent view up there, spectacular uh, view. Then we come down to the Blues, and we're standing on the Whites. That's three, four, five. Then we have another teeing ground over on the other side of the Arroyo for the bit of a high handicapper player, right. but it's still a great challenge. The whole hole is. We have to cross the Arroyo twice in getting to the green, and the green, then wait till you see the green. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to show our audience this green, because this one is just absolutely spectacular. Um, but today, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm up for a challenge. I'd like to uh, climb up above the mine shaft that's, uh, that's up here, and how about if we tee off way back and see what happens? Okay, let's give it a try. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, hold on a minute, guy. The last the last time I looked, now I know you're the pro here, but the cup's over here, and you're aiming that way? Well, just watch this one one time, will you? <laughs> Let's try this one one time. Unbelievable! <laughs> <laughs> Well, Guy, thanks so much for showing us around, and congratulations again on your induction into the PGA Hall of Fame. That's really wonderful. Thank you, Richard. And I enjoyed having you here, and I hope you come back soon. Why don't we have Jeff uh, show you around the property? I think that would be a great idea. Well, Jeff, we've had a great day down here today. Wonderful golf course, Sierra Del Rio, my favorite in the state. A terrific restaurant, and you have some great home ownership and lot ownership opportunities here too, don't you? We really do. We have uh, very affordable lots. Um, we don't have any time constraints on building, so once you purchase a lot here at Turtleback, um, you get all of the benefits of the restaurant. Uh, it's a public daily fee golf course, and. As an owner, you also get the opportunity to um, discounted prices. And advanced tea times and all that goes along with yes, that, right? Yes. It's just a wonderful place to live, work, and play. And by the way, you have some stay and play packages. We you? do have a stay and play package that's very fun because you really get a feel of what it's like to live on property. So when you purchase here, you already have an idea. We have homes for sale on property and lots of great lots great opportunity. I encourage everybody who's thinking about taking that step and moving into a golf community, this is the place to do it. Okay, you haven't missed much. So far we just sauteed the, the ham, ham and the onions. This is for the Del Rio skillet. So we have many other ingredients we need to add there. We do. All right, what else are we uh We're going to add we're going to add some garlic, which is about a little less than a tablespoon. Okay. And this recipe can be found on southwesthotchefs.com. Yes, ma'am. We're going to do some green chili. I'm going to be pretty... So you saute the green chili, right? Absolutely, yeah. That's going to that's gonna bring out that flavor. The more onions and green chili and garlic you saute, the more the flavor um, ignites, I would say. It's very, very good. This GE Monogram Kitchen, these, these burners also, you can flip them over and put a wok. Yeah, I saw that's beautiful. I, like I said, you guys can move one into my place whenever you'd like. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of essence to it too. Essence, your secret ingredient. Yes, ma'am, my secret ingredient. How are the eggs coming over there? Oh, um, right. Okay. Should we start those? Yes. <laughs> okay. You're you're like a you're a hard guy to work for. I don't oh, know I'm about sorry. this. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm a little chef. stringent, huh? Yeah. Yeah, one hander. Yeah. You didn't know I could See do that. See if we can do it again. You didn't know I could I'll do that, did ya? Oh, very very yeah. good. Okay, well you got a job at the play at my restaurant. Come on, we'll make you make some breakfast. Okay. So we'll You're going to start me out with breakfast and we'll be up to lunch. That's right, yeah, we'll go on to dinner. dinner and soon you can take in my job. I'm already trying to mimic your essence. <laughs> there you go. So there's our hot skillet. Okay. 
Okay. We're going to add, let's add our potatoes and stuff while everything else is still getting done. All right. And we are at Builder Source Appliance Gallery in Las Cruces, down in southern New Mexico. Hey, listen to that sizzle. Oh, yeah. It's already nice and hot. So you heated up that skillet yes, pan. Yeah, you want to make, well, with these skillets, I want to make sure they're nice and hot. That way, when they come out to the table, they get that steam, that presentation. Mm. And, I mean, you can smell it across the restaurant. So yeah. people are just like, oh, my, what was that? That was a Delrio So it's a lot skillet. fancier than when I put them on a paper plate so I don't have to do dishes at home. <laughs> yeah, it's a little fancier. Not you're by so far, fancy. It, it tastes the same. I hope you're washing the dishes because there's, there's a downside to fancy in case <laughs> yeah, you didn't know. Well, I do like my papers once in a while. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to add this to this, to the skillet. Let me just make sure I don't sparkle you. Ooh. Yeah, I love the sizzle. That's cool. Get the rest of the ham on there. Okay. And then whenever you're ready. Right. Sunny side up okay? Sunny side up's fine. All right. I like sunny side up just as well. All right. So go ahead and plate those right in the center of that. Um, you want to teach a trick? Yeah. You don't have to use that. Okay. Gosh. Teach me a trick. Just take the uh, the handle, and because the Teflon pans, you just gotta slide them off there. Okay. So you just slide it off there and pull out from underneath it. Oh. Like so. a Fancy easier. and a show off. <laughs> what do you know? So we're gonna add our green chili sauce right on top of that. Oh, nice yeah. Nice and thick. Top Listen it off. to that sizzle. Make sure you don't spill any too much. You can still see those eggs. Yep. Nice and pretty peeking out from underneath that green chili sauce. And then we're gonna add some cheese. Layer it on. Actually, I was going to say, we probably got to get a little more than that. Let me grab the rest of this here. I'm, I'm with you. I like the, the more cheese, the better. Yeah, don't be stingy with the cheese. That's right. That's a skillet. That's right. Golly. And we'll top it off with a tortilla. And we should be good to go. Cool. Look into it. That's very pretty. Mm, perfection. Can we try it? Absolutely. Let's dig in. Oh, the Del Rio skillet. Del Rio skillet. Aptly named after the golf course. A very good breakfast, full of hearty protein. You got your potatoes, eggs, and everything. Great to get you out on the course and get you going. So you can go golf out at the resort in the resort community and come in and have one of these Del Rio skillets. Absolutely. Right there at Elephant View. Get you start off in the morning. Make sure you can make all 18 and mm -hmm. not have to eat until you're done. Mm. Outstanding, so good. Good. I mean, cooked to perfection and all those spices. So complex, so yummy. Awesome, I'm glad you like it. Thank you, I love it. I enjoyed it. cooking it with you. I enjoyed having you back. It Thank was you fun. Very much. You're fun. I, I like it. it. <laughs> Thank we you so much. We cooked together well. Thank you. Appreciate you coming. Absolutely. Can I eat more? Absolutely. Eat all you want. Eat all you want. We'll make yeah. more. Okay. I will. This is the best place to come out and play golf. Have a good time. The most friendliest people you ever meet in your whole life. Jared, I want to thank you for coming to cook with me or for me today. The Absolutely. food was fantastic. You helped. I appreciate the help. And okay. I'd like to join everybody else to join us at the club at Sierra Del Rio uh, at Elephant Butte. We're open seven days a week. We serve uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Uh, join us at the bar. Have a drink after 18 holes. Yep. Sounds like Absolutely. fun. Thank you for Welcome letting me come. Up. Thank you. Absolutely. And all of his recipes and the recipes from today's show can be found on southwesthotchefs.com. And please join us next week for another delicious episode of Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants. Okay, tip 465. 475, here we go. Three bottles later, we got this. I think. Maybe. And one. Two, three, go. <laughs> Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is brought to you in part by Heritage Hotels and Resorts, your somewhere special. Robin West, an independent stylist for Stella and Dot Jewelry. Via Miriam Coffee, the official coffee of Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants. And Builder Source Appliance Galleries, Albuquerque, Santa Fe, Las Cruces, and El Paso. Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is produced by Cliff Dweller Productions.